This will not end well. Hello, this is Blue Box Angel, back for episode 3 of Erie, Indiana. Now, thing is, um, you've probably already seen a noticeable difference. I'm on Daily Motion instead of Hulu. Yeah, Hulu decided to get rid of Erie, Indiana. But, good thing, the person who recommended the show already knew this and alerted to me. And, um, he gave me a description, like a link to a Daily Motion account that had all the episodes on it. Good! Bad thing! Um, Daily Motion uh, has not worked well for me in the past. Um, let's just say that it will constantly lag. Not to mention, the ads will be worse. Because, at least, who gave me a warning, at least a little bit, on where the ads were going to pop up. Who will, I mean, Daily Motion will do it without warning. Not to mention, it has been known to play the ads, but still have the video who go as the ad plays. Meaning, if I want, if I can somehow get lucky and predict an ad, I will have to pause it myself because, well, it won't do it. It will just keep going and, uh, like, uh, this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well on so many levels. And not to mention, I can't do anything with this. I can't. Anyway, okay. That's that's something, but not much. I mean, seriously, I can't do much here. So again, and if I it wasn't awkward enough with it, I'm sorry if I'm in a bit of an upset mood. It's just. Once, it's like they had all this time for it to be on there, and once I start reacting to the show, suddenly I gotta go to a more difficult place to watch it. <sighs> anyway, enough ranting. I mean, here, episode 3, ATM with the Hearts of Gold. There's going to be an ATM. Probably sentient. Everybody's heard of the savings and loans game. Well, what happened when the best friend signed it? Is it even weird? Ready? Let's party! Okay. Uh... Welcome, neighbors. You now have a friend in the banking business. Uh, unlike other automated banking systems, you will grow to like and even look forward to visiting Mr. Wilson. Dad said Mr. Wilson would change the banking industry. And Things Incorporated, that's the company he works for, was going to test it right here in Erie. Please select a transaction. Wait a minute, you didn't even test this thing before putting it to, into the public? And creepy. He's there with you. When you need him, 24 hours a day. After all, ain't it good to know you got a friend? Yeah, apparently a time when you can give away, uh, get five dollars at a time out of an ATM. Hey, if Dan, if Dan from Dan Versus can do it, why not him? 
At least I think that was a five. I might have been crazy. Mm, yeah, just here for the snacks. <laughs> Need to see one thing. Um, a bit. Okay. He pressed six, six, six. <laughs> I think I know what went wrong. <laughs> Again, I think I know what made it sentient. <laughs> like, uh, and no one noticed. Like when they were making the show, no one realized. Oh wait, we just had a kid press six six six. I might, I might need to keep it. I'll just keep it like that. <laughs> Wilson find out what I already knew. In Erie, people wanted to be left alone. Who knows what weird stuff they were up to? Welcome, friend. Luckily for Mr. Wilson, Simon was more than willing to make new friends. Double snuff guns! Okay, night, okay, night, day. Hmm. Well, hey, where are we? Are we? Where I am? I have a quick trip. That's spelled K W I K. Every time I saw him, he was in a different disguise. I can't prove it, but I think he's in the witness protection program. The sky monster. Huh. Not just the tennis show. It's a way of life, dude. Okay. Mr. Wilson told you to have a nice day. Now the payment notice. Charge you back for the... Today's call. Call Chamber. Nick, did she really increase your game? Oh, yeah, man. I'll be getting up. What's the name? Oh, dude. Oh, man. Uh, if I remember right, that's a basketball thing. So? Again, I'm not a big sports guy. Oh, sorry, man. So look at that here. Oh, me too. Hmm. Man. My dude got streaked by my little bus. Anything okay. else to eat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my man. Did you buy me a jumbo box of chocolate with milk balls? Milk balls. The balls, the go move. I'll get some for you. I'm just gonna let that line slide. I'm a mature man. Let my brother Ace in charge. You gotta come over. Plus, you got Ace's new girlfriend. She's not a girl, she's... A woman? A woman. How did I know? <laughs> it's not like I've... I've it's not like I've seen this kind of thing before. Hey, thanks for the eat, kid. See you over there, Marshall. Thanks, Squirt. On the other hand, Simon is definitely the coolest nine-year-old I've ever met. For Nick and Eddie, Simon's coolness lasted about as long as it takes to polish off of that with no balls. Thanks for the chip, Simon. You, 
I was just trying to bug that guy. I don't think he likes me. He's okay. Hmm. Really not so. So, let's do something. Hmm. We should do something. Should we do something? Not, uh, not a lady, a woman. Um. So far, no ads. This is promising. S I M O N. Six. <laughs> I can't get over. <laughs> Creepy at all. Whatever happened to just owning regular sneakers? Why do you remind me of the collector from Guardians of the Galaxy? What's the biggest size ice cream you have? What's the best birthday present of all? What is this? Sign it! Such a good kid! You know how it is? I'm going to raise your life. Have a nice day. You dance that. It's just a trough of ice cream. Oh, there's the advertisement! I knew I couldn't go too long with that! Again, uh... I think... no. Okay, good. You see, when I said it would, you know, play... He... the video... When an ad come up, I I meant to, to say it would do it some of the time, not all the time, but still. I'm thankful the the computer, uh, the internet is giving me a break for once, uh, because usually my computer slash the internet hates me. So, yeah, good thing it's actually giving me a break this time. <laughs> Thank you. Now probably that I said that it's probably gonna screw up. Something is wrong. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> the money he's getting from the ATM is coming out of their bank account. <laughs> I was wondering where that was coming from. I know this is supposed to be a kid's show, but I bear repeating. Kid's show? Like, they just implied that his father was cheating on his mother with another woman. All I do is just... Is put in two who numbers and then six six six. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna get over that. a couple of times. Hello? Hi. Hi. 
tables to shows. Phenomenal. Mr. Wilson did upwards of forty thousand dollars in business over the weekend. Well, it's all draws. Well, somebody must like him. Honey, how much have we been spending? About the same as, as how much Mr. Wilson has been depositing. Well, withdrawing. I think he just figured it out too. It usually is. What are you talking about? That's modern America right now. <laughs> I made a political joke. That's probably the last one you'll ever hear from me. Even though Mr. Wilson is the problem. So it's Detroit. Got it. Um, here's the thing. Do they like you for who you are, or do they like you because you have money? Trust me, I've been in that situation before when I was younger, but not because of money, it's because I had cool toys. And of course, in hindsight, I realized that was a big mistake making friends with those people. Like this. 
This is kind of sad. <laughs> So the more money he at, uh, so the more money he the, he withdrew, the more human he became. Because that makes more, uh, because that makes perfect sense, right? Mr. Wilson was never the same after we returned all the money. Dad called it short. I called it a nervous breakdown. And of course, another thing to add to your collection. Why am I getting finance at Friday's flashbacks? The was clear on all counts of bank fraud. The judge sentenced him to 1,000 hours of community service. Just in case. I feel sort of bad that I did that whole ranch thing, and there were barely any problems. <laughs> Still. What did I think of that episode? It was pretty good. A nice little, you know, moral, you know. Go for friends who want to be friends for who you are, not because of your money or possessions. Yeah, nice little moral. For the kiddies! Even though they already implied adultery. Yeah, that's... That's that's good, and then a, and then in order to get money, a kid had to put in six six six. Yes, that's that's great. That's great. <laughs> anyway, well, this is Boo Box Angel. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>